Okay, everybody, we have a question now that says triangle ABC is isosceles. What that means is that two angle, angles are equal, so two of the angles will be equal uh, in here. Angle B has a measure of 120. What is the measure of angle A? Well, look, really all you have to do is this. All triangles have angles that are going to add up to 180 degrees. So subtract 120. 120 degrees from 180 and you wind up with 60. Now remember that two of the angles are equal, okay? So simply divide this by two because there's two angles, that's going to give you 30 and that means that A has got to be the correct answer. Uh, just a piece of advice, review your, your triangles. Uh, we're going to see another one right now. and turn the page if you would I'll do the same thing and this one is really just a simple matter of using the Pythagorean theorem for a right triangle so remember how you identify a right triangle anytime you see that little uh, doohickey in the corner that means that that's got a 90 degree angle in it and you're dealing then with a right triangle that means that you can immediately apply uh, c squared is equal to a squared uh, plus b squared now I wouldn't just start you know, solving this thing without reading the question, so let's go ahead and do that. It says, uh, Main Road and West Road are perpendicular and intersect at point A. Cross Road intersects Main Road 8 kilometers from point A and inter intersects West Road 6 kilometers from point A. What is CB, the length of the cross road? Well, look, let's treat this as A squared, and we'll treat this one as B squared. This is C squared. Remember that this is always called the hypotenuse, the longest uh, line you can draw between two points on this little triangle thing here. And we've got the hypotenuse. That's our c squared. We want to figure out what it is. Okay, so remember what we have to do for, for solving this. We got c squared is equal to a squared. That's going to be 8 squared plus b. b squared is going to be 6 squared. Continue c squared is equal to <clears throat> 64 which is why I wrote the number 8 right there thank goodness I can erase so a squared is 64 plus 36 c squared is equal to 100 we have to take the square root of uh, c squared and the square root of 100 that's going to give us c is equal to, to 10 All right. Looking at our answers, if I can scroll this up, you can plainly see that B is the correct answer. But there's something else that I want to want to mention. Look at those numbers. Look at the numbers 100 and uh, 64 and 36. Notice that those are all multiples like 10 and 8 and 6 or 5, 4, and 3. So it just seems that in a 6, 8, 10, a 3, 4, 5 uh, type of triangle, the hypotenuse is going to be some multiple of 5 or 10. So that's a little trick to figure out. But do make sure that you rework our friend the Pythagorean theorem uh, a number of times and know when to apply it to right triangles because it might be something valuable for you to know. Okay, well that takes care of that one. Let's go to the next.